Whether or not you choose to use where object is going to depend a lot on the command that you're using to feed where object. For example, uh, let's say I wanted to get all the processes that are running under service host. Well, first of all, let's make sure I have some. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Get process, where object, dollar sign underscore name equals SVC host. Okay, that's certainly one way to achieve that. Our goal, though, is to move that filtering criteria as far to the left of the command line as possible, though. And to see if that's, it's possible to move it further left, I need to look at the help for get process. Now, get process does not include a dash filter parameter. So, on the face of it, it would look like I can't actually move the filtering any further to the left of that command line. But, get process does support a name parameter and it accepts string and a lot of times those will accept wildcards. So instead of this, I might try doing just dash name svc host and I get the right results. So there's kind of a, a, a neat little back and forth that you have to play. Every single get commandlet is going to provide differing capabilities for filtering. For the most part, if you're only retrieving a few dozen objects out of a set of a hundred or so, it doesn't matter if you use where object or if you use a trick like this. But when you need to retrieve a few items from a list of hundreds or thousands, having the first commandlet have your filter criteria is going to be a lot more efficient than getting those hundreds or thousands and asking where object to go through each one of them one at a time to see if your filter criteria matches. So it's just a matter of getting used to the capabilities of the commandlets and making sure that you are reading their help so that you can see what parameters they might offer to kind of improve things for you.